Here we are in the cab of a Wilmar sprayer, and you can see here, um, in this particular case, the operator has his controller, his guidance, and his section control, and the camera monitor, all right in the field of view. Um, in this particular case, um, we did the install in just a little over 15 minutes, believe it or not. Um, we uh, were very easily able to come into the cab and do the electrical hookup and install the monitor and have everything done in 15 minutes. Let me walk you through the different steps of how we've done that and I'll go step by step of um, from mounting the camera to operating the monitor once it's installed. Okay, as you're installing the electrical portion of this, this is probably the most critical portion of installing the camera system. You see here you've got an 8-pin connector coming off the monitor and this is going to your harness. It's very important that those two arrows are lined up directly. Please don't force those together. If you do and the pins get bent in there, it will cause the camera system not to work. In this section of the video, we're going to talk about the electrical installation on a 7-inch monitor. In the previous section, we talked about the importance of making the main connection from the monitor to the harness right here. And as far as the electrical hookup, you have two options. The first option being your cigarette lighter adapter. Please use one or the other, either hardwire the system or use a cigarette lighter adapter as seen right here. And you'll notice if you're hardwiring it, um, you're gonna have a black, a red, and a green wire. It's important if you're going to use the uh, control buttons on the front of the monitor for going from camera one to camera two, the only necessary wires to connect here would be the red to power and the black to ground. The purpose of the green wire is if you want to trigger the monitor to come on, for example, when you put the vehicle in reverse, if the green wire is hooked to that wire, camera two will automatically come up when the vehicle is put into reverse. And right here you'll see camera one and camera two inputs. Again, that is an option on any of our seven inch monitors. Additional cameras and extension cables are available through your VisionWorks dealer. In this section, we're gonna talk about mounting the monitor. As you can see, we have an optional suction cup bracket that uh, makes installation very quick and easy. So in this case, I'll show you very simply, you unscrew um, the back section. There's a little slide rail that goes right in the back of the monitor. Once you tighten it up here, you have a ball and socket um, adjustability for the monitor. Simply put it in the window like this, push it down, and now you have the ability to, um, with that ball and socket, um, operation there, that knuckle operation, you can adjust the monitor to best suit the operator's viewpoint. Tighten it up. And you are ready to go. This is the standard base that comes with the monitor. And as you can see, there's 3M tape or places where you can screw um, the bracket into a mounting surface. You can also um, for example, if you want to attach it, these pieces bend down and you can um, adhere it around like a piece of metal piping or whatever's easiest for the installation. In this case, as you can see, I have my control panel on the Wilmar. I would simply uh, uh, use the adhesive tape and tape it here. Maybe put a set of, set of screws in there if you want just for extra durability. And then of course the monitor simply goes on the screw plate similar to the suction cup bracket the standard bracket has a ball and socket giving the operator um, the best angle and being able to adjust it even after the main base is um, affixed this is an old wilmar sprayer that we're going to do the um, camera installation on in this case the operator wants to watch this back 10 foot section of spray boom with this camera and we're going to show you how quick and easy it is to uh, do the mount, mounting of the camera system from start to finish. All the cameras come with a 65 pound magnet, so it does make installation very easy. You can see here, you can either screw the camera directly into your uh, the place where you want to mount it, once you figured that out, or you can use the magnet. In this case, we're looking at these spray tips here. And as you notice, the camera is upside down. And in the next section, we will talk about how 
you can adjust the image on the screen to suit the application. One of the things you'll notice now, um, if you remember from the last uh, section, that camera was mounted upside down. So I'm going to walk you through in this section how to um, adjust the image that's on the screen to suit uh, the application that you have there. So in this case, that camera is upside down. You notice in the image, everything is backwards and upside down. So you simply um, hit the menu button here and I'll kind of zoom in here. You can see first your brightness, your contrast, color, hue, all of those things can affect the quality of the picture you're getting, uh, your volume, but we don't have uh, sound. And then right here where it says T-C-O-N. Now watch what happens to the screen here. Every time I select it, it changes the image. So it changes it from left to right, upside down and down. And in this case, where we wanna watch those spray tips, that's exactly what you're gonna be seeing in the cab there. In this case, you can see we're watching about four or five tips in the back section of that sprayer boom. And of course, when we're in operation, you'll be able to see if you have a plug nozzle Therefore, being able to save a lot of um, uh, heartache in the future if you are an applicator. Again, lots of applications for cameras, this being one of them. Uh, again, in this section, we're just talking about how you can reverse the image. This is also very handy um, if the camera is going in the same direction you are. For example, in the hay baler, if you are pointing forwards or watching a gauge on something you will want right to be right and left to In be left. In this section, we're going to talk about wiring. You notice on this Wilmar sprayer, right here underneath the cab, you've got the place where most of your cabling is coming into the, the cab. So you definitely want to find the easiest, uh, best way to get inside the cab with the main cable. All we've done is taken the main cable, zip tie it to the current cable that's running along the sprayer, or the tractor in this case, whichever you're wiring it to. And again, use existing um, wiring harnesses. In this case, we're gonna follow it all the way back underneath the frame and out the back. Another very important thing as you're doing the wiring on any uh, implement or vehicle where you're running this cable along hydraulic hoses, um, please be aware that hydraulic hoses will expand and contract. And so therefore, when you put the zip ties on, make sure you're leaving them good and loose. The main purpose is just to hold them to that line. As you can see here, it's uh, definitely not um, easy conditions. Lots of mud, lots of dust, um, but the camera holds up really well. And the infrareds allow you to see in the dark also. Here we are in the cab of a Case 115C tractor. This compact tractor is used a lot for orchard applications, so it's very small and compact and yet um, rear visibility. And even on the very front of this tractor, we have a camera. So in this case, they're using a 10 inch monitor. And you can see here how Ag West out of Oregon here built this simple bracket to hold the 10 inch monitor. And you're able to run up to four cameras on this monitor. You can see on this case compact tractor, it's using an orchard cab. And so the operator has um, not a very good view towards the back, but this back camera is going to increase the safety, allow him to see what's going on out back. And the second camera is mounted right here in the very front of the tractor. You can see because of the design of the tractor, it's very hard to see out in front. This way they're able to watch both cameras at the same time. Here's another application for the cameras. On this big air seater, there are many blind spots that you can't see when you're going down the road. And you're also able to put a camera inside the air seater tank and be able to watch how full that tank is and know exactly when you run out of seed. Many of the air seater applications use two or even up to four cameras on the piece of equipment. The first one being on the very back of the air seater so you can see um, traffic as you're hauling it down the road. And the second place being inside the tank, the infrared on the cameras allow you to see inside that tank even though when it's dark, so you can see when the lassie gets to the bottom. And then of course, watching the rest of the implement is uh, a usage for the other cameras. So now we're going to talk about the electrical hookup. 
In this case, we're gonna be doing a five inch monitor. So the first decision you need to make is whether you're going to power it up with a cigarette lighter adapter that's included or going directly to the battery. In this case, you're seeing we're connecting the female power red adapter to the cigarette lighter adapter. And it's very important that this particular connection, the pigtail coming off the monitor, going into the main harness, that you line up the two arrows here and do not force it together. If you do that and bend a pin, um, the camera system will not work and it will void the warranty. In the case where you want to use direct power, do not use the cigarette lighter adapter and simply connect the red to power and the black to ground. The blue wire that's here is only if you want video camera input two to be triggered when the implement is put into reverse. So again, you're using just the red to power and block to ground if you're hard wiring it. And the most important thing when you're hooking up a five inch or a four inch monitor kit is the only connector that's going to automatically be the default is gonna be this one that is tagged V1. V2 is only um, activated when there's power to the blue wire. So in the case where you want to use a five inch monitor with two inputs, you can put power to the blue wire, but we suggest putting a toggle switch in that line so that you can let the monitor know when you're wanting to look at camera one or camera two.